Today I'm going to talk about how I did my hair in both 1940s and Edwardian styles using rag curlers. If you're not familiar with rag curlers, they're just little pieces of fabric. Uh, for this project, I cut about a quarter yard of fabric into one inch strips. My fabric's 42 inches wide. And then I surged both edges of them so that the extra strings wouldn't get caught in my hair. After that, I cut them into quarters. So I don't need the whole length. This isn't the type of rag curler that makes ringlets. This is the kind that you just use like a curler, like a sponge roller or any other kind of curler. The advantage is that they're very easy to sleep in and actually traditionally you would use them for children's hair because the kids don't mind them as much. I tried it in my little girl and she wore them all day. They were not uncomfortable at all. So I started maybe about five inches up from the bottom of my hair. Um, obviously my hair is somewhat long. It works for shorter hair as well, uh, but not like super short. You need to be able to turn it around the, uh, the rag curler and have enough to wind it up without it falling out. So I twisted around. It would have been easier if I'd used end papers more than likely, but this is the first time I've tried this in about 20 years. So it was a bit of a learning curve at the beginning. You keep rolling it and rolling it until you get to your head and then you make a knot and you tie the knot tightly so that it's secure. Like that. Then you continue with each section. I used about one inch sections of hair and I've got a lot of hair so you might not need as many curlers. Um, and I go all the way up to the top and I tie it. Try to be consistent with the way that you roll. I'm rolling upwards. You can also roll down towards the ground and you roll and roll and roll all the way until it gets to your head. Then tie it in a knot. Go all the way around. If it's easier for you, you can section off bits of your hair. You can use like a clip. That will help you get your hair more controllable if you have a whole lot of hair. Just work your way all the way around your head. At this point, my hair was getting kind of dry, so I brought out my little handy spray bottle and I got it a little bit damp again. You don't want your hair sopping wet because it'll take ages to dry, so just about halfway wet is kind of the sweet spot. And I only used water, but you can use setting lotion if it doesn't work with just water in your hair. If you find you have little bits that are hanging down, you can roll them up into pin curls. Just roll it around your finger until you get to the top of your head and then grab a bobby pin or hair pin and shove it on in there. This is what it pretty much looks like. If you get to the end and bits are falling down, you can reposition them like I'm doing here. And that's my whole head with curlers on. Now I left them in all night and in the next morning, it was like this. Very messy, but it didn't matter because it worked. Now you untie them and you carefully take them out of your hair. I got a random string so it got pretty stuck. But as you can see it totally worked with just water and time. They're actually quite tight curls. I was surprised. My hair usually doesn't hold a curl well at all. That's, that's almost the only way that it'll work. Gotta get a kitty in for good measure. <laughs> now I start separating the curls with my fingers. If you want just ringlets for like earlier Victorian styles, you could do that. There are other tutorials on YouTube to get actual ringlets. This is more just curls for volume, like you would get with Edwardian and 1940s hair. When it gets really big, don't worry, it's supposed to. Now you brush the life out of your hair. Like you literally brush your hair forever. Forever and forever, just keep on brushing. And it really helps when you turn it underneath your fingers at the ends because that gets your ends really nice. So I am almost a 1940s hair. You just keep brushing and brushing and brushing and brushing and turning it under your hair, under your finger. And now I'm doing my little uh, early pandemic bangs. I was one of the unfortunate few. You could pin this up into place and then it's an early 40s hairdo just like this. And of course you'd have to finish the back. Feel sort of a uh, Rita Hayworth. <laughs> now for Edwardian, I'm gonna grab my hair wrap. This one snaps, but I'm not gonna use the snap. I'm gonna section off the entire front portion of my hair from ear to ear, 
grab a little clip and clip this section back. Now, at the end of your hair, at the back, you're gonna brush and brush and brush and brush and brush and brush until it looks like you've got a good amount of volume and you don't have random stragglers. Now roll it up like this. It takes a little bit of practice. Um, I start about three or four inches up from the bottom of my hair. Now you pin it to your head. And the ends take a little bit extra securing. It looks like this when I'm part way there. Now I've got to do the front part. And for this, I'm going to do three different sections. I'm going to have one over one ear, one in the center, and one over the other ear. So brush and brush and brush. And now I've got my first section. I'm going to roll this around my fingers. And it gets a ton of volume because of the curl. Now I'm going to use some bobby pins, and I'm just going to pin it in place. Just one for right now so I can get a glimpse of what I'm doing. If your hair is extra slippery, you can use several. Now I roll it around the other side and pin that into place. And then I've got the front part and I brush and brush and brush because I don't want a part in the middle. And I roll it around my finger and it goes up like this. Give it a pin and the unfortunate bangs are getting pinned to place now. Now that you've got it somewhat in place, you can start um, wiggling around, making sure that the rat is covered on the side so you don't see the snaps. You can go in there with a comb and like with a with an end that's pointy and maneuver it as you need to. It looks totally early and warty now. There it is. And with a hat, it would be even better. So you can play with your hats, and you've suddenly got really great Edwardian hair. I hope that helped! Now you can do your own hairstyles without any heat and without any styling tools if you want. Thanks for watching!